Hey guys, and welcome back to Quarantine Craft. I am Gasman, and this is episode number 34, and I am up here, right below the bedrock layer of the nether roof, and it's time to venture up to the top of the nether. I have all the stuff I hopefully will need. I've got portal making supplies. I have bedrock breaking supplies I have hopefully means to get up there and just in case I die I have my stuff down here so I should be able to hop up there make my portal and then be able to hop back through come back up here grab my stuff and then be able to come and break the bedrock right here that block right there should be um, at 127. That's where it should be, right there. That should be 127. Okay. All right. So 121 is where my feet are. Two, three, four five six seven yep should be good to go all right well this always makes me really really nervous so let's do it haha <laughs> nether roofed awesome okay so I need is it one forty one? That block right there. That is my hole that I need to put in the nether ceiling. And I need to go. Um, here, nope, and this way, this right here should link up to the second portal that I have built in my other tower. So one, two, three. And I need to come up here and do uh, some mob proofing with carpets and whatnot, but. I didn't bring anything to break that with because I'm smart. All right, so boom, portal. Let's see if this works. It worked. Perfect. Perfect. Came through the correct portal. There's our lower portal. And this portal should take us right back up to the roof of the nether. Okay. Hold on to your butts. Perfect. I guess, with that being the case, I really don't need to bust a hole in bedrock. But let's be real. I'm going to go ahead and bust a hole in the bedrock. Like, that's that's what's going to happen. Okay. Give me a minute to get myself situated, and then we'll talk about well busting bedrock. Um, I can get back and forth from my base to the roof of the nether, but for some reason, both of my portals are jumping to this one. Um, so that means I can't get back down without, you know, flying all the way to, say, the Guardian Farm and then flying over to grab my stuff. So um, I have what I need for um, destroying bedrock. 
for, for wiping the bedrock in the nether. So we're going to give it a try. Um, yeah. So the spot we need is right over here. Okay, so this spot right here, double check my coordinates. Uh, negative 243, negative 141. Okay, so this should be the correct spot right here. Um, so let me just grab a few torches and set those around real quick. All right, so I'm going to need that there and that there. I'm going to want a lever there. Let's put you right there. Piston. And we are going to bud power the piston. See, and now when it updates, it is now unpowered. So that's super important. Um, the whole updating of the piston. Okay. So that is the main thing. Now we're going to kill those. Right now it's still powered. All right, now a couple blocks away. Let's grab that and that. So one, two, three. Let's put it right here. Put that there. Now we're going to come right here. We need to unpower that. Whoops. Okay. We need to press the button. I don't think that worked. That did not work. Okay. So. Okay. See, now we, okay. And as we update the piston, we just kind of got to keep trying this. Um, that was why I brought this, so I could stand against it and didn't get blown too far away. There, there. Piston. So we push the button, shift, and right click. Did not work. And boop, shift, and spam click. It should be facing the same direction. All right, well, I'm going to keep working on this, and hopefully I can be, I can get it taken care of pretty quickly, so. Yes! Finally! Ah. Oh. And here we are. That took way longer than I wanted it to. That took almost 20 attempts. But it did, in fact, work. Take care of some spawn stuff real quick. Just in case anybody was wondering whose um, portal this was. Lime green is best green. Nope. Okay. All right. Time to get stuff together to build this farm. It's going to be fun. Okay, guys. So I'm here on the roof of the nether, and I think this is going to be a good spot for my uh, gold farm. Uh, it is right in the middle of a big nether waste, so we're going to build it way up top. Um... It has taken me about a day to gather up all 
the different supplies that I needed for this, and we're going to build it way up top. Um, so I'm going to build this. I'm going to put in about 80 scaffolding blocks. which is not going to take us all the way to the top, but it'll be fine. It's going to take us fairly high. Let's see where we're at. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 205, 207-ish. And this is where we're going to put our storage area. Then I have to do some math to figure out how many more scaffolding till we get to the AFK platform and then all the way up. So here we are. Let's see, we are at 208. Okay, so we are at 208. Um, we are going to build a platform right here. It'll be sitting around 209. This is where we'll have our storage area. Okay, down we go. All right, so 208, I want to take the killing platform to uh, um, I'm going to stand at 122, so that's what, um, 14, 14 blocks, okay, 14 blocks, so let's Let's do this. Actually, let's do that. All right, that should take us up. Okay, I'm going to measure out all the different floors, and then we're going to get started building this thing. It's going to be good times.
Okay, guys, we appear to have a working farm. Um, that That's good. I do not have any semblance of storage set up, so I'm going to have to do that too. But for right now, let's go check out and see how everything looks down here. Ow. Okay, let me just sit here and soak up all this XP real quick. Oh, yay. Super fun. Well, guys, I have the killing chamber all done. I'm just going to keep falling in here and dying. And I'm at level currently 39. Um, yeah. I'm just going to let this go for about 20 minutes and see uh, how much XP and gold and such I can get. It's going to be good. And then we'll uh, worry about doing a uh, storage, actual storage system down there. So, okay, let's... Uh, yeah, time to do some AFK. All right, guys, it's been about 20, 25 minutes, maybe. And we've gone from level 39 to level 69. Just standing here, which is pretty neat. Um, let's pick up these little bits and pieces that might be lying around. I'm going to have to work on a little bit of something else. All right, uh, go away, go away. Okay, give me that XP. Do do do, just stand here for not long and it'll start and get you to level 70. Cool. All right, level 7. Oh, hello. What are you doing, buddy? Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Well, guys, I just got back from a overnight AFK session, and as you can see, I hit 300 levels. That's pretty cool. Um, before I did the AFK session, however, like a smart individual, I put together kind of a little bit of a storage area here. Um, everything is filtered, so we have... Um, let me think about this. I think this whole side is gold um, and we have some gold at the moment um, this is for the occasional ingot that comes in fine um, a few for rotten flesh and then this is where the swords come and if I'm doing like a crazy overnight session then this could fill up with swords. Um, right now we're doing okay, but I, I, I chose to do lava buckets as the uh, field choice. And if things get super duper backed up, they'll back up into this double chest. Um, and I think I might add one more double chest for backup right here, just in case, because there seems to be a ton of swords that come through, um, and they kind of clog the system. Okay, guys. So I have been doing some work on our gold farm. Um, I didn't like going up and down scaffolding, so I decided to do the warped vine. Um, and let's go check it out.
It is kind of a long climb, but that's okay. And here we go. Here is our storage area. Very similar to the Piglin, um, the Piglin Trading Hall down below. Kind of wanted to keep the same kind of theme, and we'll just come on up and oh, why is that? Why is that down? It shouldn't be down. Okay, let's do that. Come up, boom. The only tricky thing right now is that particular trapdoor, because you can't open it from below. But whatever, not a big deal. We'll come on down, boom, pick up the XP, and here we are. Um, I am going to label everything. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. So here's gold that we've got. Here's some more gold that we've got. Should probably go refill these buckets. Um, yep, all of these nuggets have come from swords. So that's how many swords we've gone through that this system has chewed through. And we have a lot of rotten flesh, but way more gold. All right. So I'm going to craft up some gold and head down to the trading center. All right, guys, here's the gold that we were able to get. We're going to take a stack of gold blocks and we break them down. Um, and let's do another half stack. Okay. That should give us enough. We will put a stack in each of the droppers. And I know I'm going to need to tweak the redstone, but we'll get to that. Okay. Drop all that off. And let's start it all up. And I'm just going to sit here for a few minutes and let these guys do some trading. I hope. Well, it seems like the piglin are doing, you know, four or five trades and then stopping. Um, interesting. For some reason, after four or five trades, the droppers are no longer firing. So I'll, that is a redstone problem I'm going to have to figure out. But I think I'm going to have to figure that out on a different day. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did, be sure to hit the like button. And if you really liked it, or you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button down there. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.